Deep breathe trans contracture is a medical condition where fibroproliferation of the palmar aponeurosis causes pathological nodules and cords in the palm of the hand and flexion contractures of the digits. Let's see what the 2013 guideline advises. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. This paper gathered experts from all over the world to discuss the evidence and form a consensus on Dupuy trans contracture. Hand surgeons, hand therapists, physical medicine and rehab physicians were involved to create a complete picture. What did they recommend? Let's start with non-surgical procedures. These are scarce. Corticosteroid injections for one are not recommended. A collagenase injection may be used, although the outcomes are a bit ambiguous. No other non-surgical procedures are recommended. There are a few surgical procedures to consider. A needle fasciotomy, open fasciotomy, limited fasciotomy, and finally the dermofasciotomy are the procedures of choice. Luckily for us physical therapists, we do not really need to know the differences, since the rehab is recommended to be identical, but adapted to the size of the wound and the healing phase. Now, what about post-surgical care? There are a few instructions to make clear. The patient should avoid activities that cause mechanical irritation of the operated part. They should get instructions on how to decrease pain and swelling, such as with ice, and basic mobility exercises should be given as well. Some surgeons will advise some patients to wear a splint. This should be a volar or dorsally applied static splint. Instructions on how, when and how long to wear this should be provided. Every patient should perform exercises postoperatively. The aims are keeping the fingers straight to prevent flexion contractures, reducing edema and restoring normal range of motion. The exercises should encompass passive and active extension of the fingers tendon gliding exercises and strengthening plus stretching of the enterosi muscles. This should be started as soon as possible and at least within seven days post-surgery, assuming that pain, swelling and skin healing permit this. A period of three to eight weeks of exercise is advised. The exercise program is recommended to be performed three to five times per day for 15 to 25 minutes per session and a maximum of 80 minutes per day. Exercise therapy can be stopped when there is no risk for a post-op contracture. If the exercise program is insufficient, a splint can be considered. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something today. I am Max for Physio Tutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.